What's going on everybody? Alex Kolasar here, your local real estate agent here in Northeast Ohio. And today I wanted to make this quick video on the 10 things that you must know about Akron so that if you're looking to move to the area for job transfer relocation, if you're looking to move here as a university student at, at Akron, or if you're looking to just visit the area, take these 10 things and fit in like a local. And look, if you are an Akronite watching this video, make sure you leave in the comment section what you love most about the city don't even say anything about hatred because Akron gets a lot of hate. I want to see all good comments here. And guys, make sure you stay tuned all the way at the end of this video because I will be telling you my number one reason on why I love living right here in Akron. So let's get started. Now we gotta start this video off with the one and only Cuyahoga National Valley Park that we have here. And it's actually just north of Akron and pretty much splits the difference there between Akron and Cleveland. And each year we get something like 2.5 million visitors a year. Uh, but I recently had a gentleman down, oh gosh, in Dayton, just reach out to me. He's looking to move up to the area because he absolutely fell in love with the rolling hills that we have here. He said down Dayton, it is flat. It is straight farmlands. And so I'm actually helping him move up here probably the next one to three years uh, just because of the park itself and the nature that we have. I mean, they really have so much to offer here. You can go horseback riding, you can go canoeing, hiking. If you're an avid bicyclist, they got the towpath trail that goes all the way from Akron to Cleveland. And God, it's got like something like 80 miles of trails there. I mean, really the list goes on and on. And even in the winter time, we got sled riding. So really the park is kind of open year round here. All right, number two on the list. And if you didn't know, now you know, is that Akron is home to King James. That's right, LeBron James. Man, his footprint in this city is absolutely huge. The dude has done so much for the city. Um, and I don't blame him, man. After winning this championship with the Cavs, I really feel like he both put uh, Cleveland and Akron on the map. And what I like about LeBron, man, is he is still true to his hometown. His foundation, the LeBron James Family Foundation, built the I Promise School over there on the north side of town. His foundation just recently bought an old restaurant out there in the Highland Square District, and this place is gonna be absolutely awesome. It's gonna be like this community hub for his I Promise School and Village. You gotta take a look at this parking facility that they're gonna have here. Dick Sporting Good is about to pimp it out. They got this whole facility on the rooftop there. They're gonna have this sporting complex. I mean, really, it's gonna be a place for everything. And I think what I like about most about LeBron James here in the city is that he's not just creating jobs, but he's more so creating a movement, man. He wants Akron to be on the come up. And what I respect most about this uh, new facility he's gonna have over there in the Highland Square is that he's calling it the House 330. And he's staying true to the roots, to the Akron's area code 330. All right, number three on the list is that the people in Akron, man, we take our hamburgers very, very seriously here. Every year we actually host the National Hamburger Festival downtown Akron in the Lock 3 Park. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why Akron, and that's because back in the late 1800s, Akron's claim to fame right there is that we were the original inventors of the hamburger. Now, is that 100% true? Personally, I don't know, and I really don't care because I love a good festival. And speaking of hamburgers, if you're in town as well, you gotta find a Swenson's. It's a little fast food joint that I'm pretty sure started in Ohio and is still only in Ohio. Look, California's got In-N-Out Burger, Texas has got Whataburger, and we got Swenson's. All right, number four on the list is that Akron is home to the Bridgestone Firestone Country Club Golf Course. Man, that was a mouthful. Uh, I think it's pretty cool though that every single year you got the PGA Tour comes through and plays at the Bridgestone Invitational. To be honest, Akron has a bunch of awesome golf courses. As long as you go on the outskirts, you're gonna find some awesome courses. I will say in 2020, I don't know if it's because of COVID or because it was golf was trending or something, but these golf courses this year have become absolutely packed. It seems like everyone all of a sudden became an avid golfer. Anytime I'm on the course, I think it's funny when I meet somebody, we always say how golf is really the only thing to do here in the summer, when that's not really entirely true, but I think we kind of just say that just because we want to justify how much we spend on golf every single year. But if you don't like golf, this brings us to number five on our list, and that's that Akron has a ton of stuff to do. I first want to start off with one of my favorite joints, and that's the Lock 3 uh, Public Park outdoor venue that they got in downtown Akron. And the reason why I love this spot, man, it just gives a nice modern feel to the city, and it's just a comfortable place to go and hang out with your friends and family. And I mean, who doesn't like an outdoor venue? As long as the weather's cooperating, of course. 
So make sure you check that weather app because you never know what it's gonna do here in Ohio. But in the summertime here, I mean, you got concerts, you got yoga sessions, you got 5K gatherings. And in the wintertime, you got Ohio's largest outdoor ice skating rink. And I recently just found out that the Lock 3 is about to get a huge makeover. The Knight Foundation is actually investing around like $8 million into acrid public parks to make them more attractive to these young professionals that are looking to move to these fun urban cities. The goal of this project is to basically give it a whole new facelift, make it more modern, and definitely add some trees as the park currently has no shade out there. But another few family ideas include hitting up the Akron Zoo over there on the west side, hit up one of Akron's basketball or baseball games and watch the zips kick ass, or hit up the Akron Civic Theater, which is one of the only five atmospheric theaters in the entire country. And it's super cool, as you're in the auditorium, you're kind of looking down on the stage, and right above you have this dome-shaped, um, star-lit gaze theater right above you, and it's just like this cool, ominous vibe when you're in there. Now, if you're in town for the holidays, you gotta hit up the Stan Hewitt Halls. This place is absolutely phenomenal in the wintertime, man. They put on a light show that literally puts the Griswold family to shame. All right, moving right along, we are at number six on the list, and that is that Akron University is right downtown Akron. And look, guys, I'm telling you right now, in the next five to seven years, I'm projecting that Akron is gonna be the place for young professionals to move to. While the student population is super big downtown, I will say compared to the neighboring university over there in Kent, putting academics aside, I feel like when students have to choose between Akron and Kent, 90% of the time, they end up gonna be choosing Kent just because Kent actually fosters a downtown environment for college students or Akron does not. But look, Akron understands this and they have a whole redevelopment plan that's gonna go into effect. If you take a look at these maps, I mean, they are gonna completely redo downtown by adding new commercial spaces like shops and businesses. They're gonna have more green park and they're specifically gonna focus on downtown living right now. They're gonna make these affordable, stylish apartments that are gonna be hopefully relatively cheap, but they did just put some new apartments over there in the Bowery District. These apartments are awesome, but they are a little pricey, right? You're gonna be paying around $1,200 for like a one bedroom, one bath uh, apartment there. But I'm telling you right now, Akron's on the come up within the next few years. Make sure you put it in the comment section if you agree or disagree. All right, number seven on the list, and believe it or not, is that Akron has a pretty awesome music scene here. Now look, it's not no awesome city limits, but there is a ton of outdoor and indoor venues that you gotta check out if you're in town. Some of the biggest venues are gonna be Lock 3, like I just talked about earlier. If you go north about 15 minutes in Cuyahoga Falls, you're gonna see the Blossom Music Center. And over in Highland Square, they got the Porch Rocker Festival every single year. Now, if you wanna hit up some like local smaller joints, you gotta hit up Annabelle's, which is a small little dive bar. Uh, if you like jazz, you gotta hit up the Blue Jazz, which is right downtown. And lastly, you gotta check out this place called Musica. It's on this like little back, like uh, brick road street, super kind of off the path, but it's an awesome little spot and it's a great place to check out some up and coming artists. All right, number nine on the list is that Akron is actually known as a city of inventions. Back in the 1900s when Akron was killed at manufacturing, we were known as the rubber capital of the world, but unfortunately when all those jobs left, a lot of the people left too. But fortunately, what stayed was the Polymer Research Foundation here. Look, to be 100% honest, I had no idea what polymers even were. I actually had to look them up, right? So a polymer is a long chain of molecules that's found in rubber and plastic. And over the years, man, we've actually been come, become known as the Polymer Valley here. You have the Silicon Valley out there in uh, California, and here we got the Polymer Valley. And Akron also has a super cool innovation center called Bounce. It's basically like an inventor's dream, right? It's a super cool modern loft style facility that basically fosters building relationship and inventions. And hey, I heard they have free coffee for all those late nights that I'm sure are gonna be staying up there. All right, guys, we made it all the way into this video and I promised you I would tell you my number one reason on why I absolutely love living right here in Akron. And that's because that Akron has some awesome restaurants and awesome breweries here. Like I said earlier, man, I'm a fat kid at heart. And I'm telling you right now, when I travel places, I probably spend like 80 to 90% of my money literally on eating out and drinking some awesome local brews. And that's the reason why I like Akron so much, man. It's literally like a melting pot here. You have so much to choose from. Like over in Highland Square, you got Mr. Zub's Deli, which is an awesome place to grab a local sandwich. Or if you want probably one of the best pizzas in Akron, you gotta hit up Luigi's Pizza, 
which is almost downtown. It's just slightly north there. And trust me, you might be waiting in a line if you want to try some of their pizza. But I also like the Lock View, which is right downtown. This is a cool little like fun spot. They got craft beers, wine, and they legit like have their own like grilled cheese menu. I think it has like 13 or 14 different kinds of grilled cheeses. Now when it comes to breweries, Akron's got around seven different breweries located around that downtown area. And some of my favorite spots are Lock 15, Akron and Brewing, and also the Missing Falls Brewery. Each place really offers their own kind of like vibe and their own little menu. And if you're in town, guys, I definitely recommend trying out one of these local breweries or these awesome restaurants that Akron has to offer. And make sure you send me a text, phone call, email if you're looking to move to the area. Because guys, I get phone calls every single week about people relocating here and I absolutely love it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you leave some awesome comments in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.